What is happening guys? Welcome back to Red Beer's Garage. In today's episode, we're going to be installing Vegas Cart's new 18 amp charging system on a Harbor Freight 420 Predator engine. This is what we call a big block engine in the go-kart and small buggy world and mini bikes. And if you've ran one of these, you know the charging system is extremely weak on these engines. For some reason, Harbor Freight chose to put only one charging coil on this engine, which provides you with one and a half amp of charging capacity which isn't even enough to replenish the battery from the electric starts. So what uh, Vegas Carts has sourced out is a new flywheel with four magnets inside of it, and that's going to give you double the capacity uh, passing by the copper coils. If you compare it to the stock flywheel, you'll notice it only has two. Uh, and it, this kit is going to come with a new charging coil with four posts. So this is going to give you up to 18 amps of charging. And you can add a second amp to the stock style setup, but then you're going to need a voltage regulator and you're still only going to get about three amps of charging at best out of that system. So I highly recommend checking this out if you're running this on a golf cart, a mini bike. Now this is going to be used for stock form. So you're not going to want to rev this uh, flywheel high or the stock one. These are not high RPM flywheels. If you're removing the governor, you would want to move over to a billet flywheel and then this charging system would not work. This is for the people that want to install this on a golf cart and uh, maybe you're repowering a piece of old equipment. This is perfect for those type of people. You can run a radio, light bar, replenish the battery from the electric starts. So it's going to be pretty big. Uh, I don't know why Harbor Freight doesn't do this from factory. This is a needed thing. Really simple install. It's only going to take you about an hour. The only specialized tool you're going to need is a torque wrench. Uh, to torque down the flywheel nut but other than that it's pretty much basic hand tools so without further ado we're going to show you how to install this kit and get you pushing out uh, a ton more power out of your charging system on your harbor freight 420 predator first we need to remove the fan shroud coil and the flywheel Thread on the flywheel nut to protect the threads on the crankshaft. Pry on the back side of the flywheel and hit the nut with a hammer to release it from the crank. Now we can remove the coil and the wire guard from the block. To install the new coil, we simply line it up and use longer bolts to install it on the block. Reuse the rubber wire grommet on the factory coil and route the wire out the back of the block. So this is a prototype kit that we have. It did not come with something to hold down this, uh, this lead. It didn't seem like the factory one would work in that scenario. So I'm gonna find something that'll uh, clamp over this, maybe a washer, a large washer to push on this wire to keep it so it won't ever work its way loose and get into the flywheel. So if you notice, I put a washer. I'm not recommending that you do this. Again, this is a prototype. This is not the actual like kit. I'm sure it'll come with the four screws and stuff like that, the bolts that you need. I just took a washer and pinched the wire, making sure it didn't cut into the wire. And uh, so that's held pretty well. We can now put on our new flywheel and install the fan, starter cup, and torque down the 83 foot pounds. Use a 10,000 filler gauge or a business card to set the proper coil gap on the flywheel. After installing the fan shroud, we can hook up the voltage regulator and plug up the coils. Thank you. 
Thank you guys so much for checking out this 18 amp charging system from Vegas Carts. Uh, I hope this helps you with your project if you're wanting to install this. It's really straightforward. Uh, it's one of the easiest mods you can do to this engine and everything's plug and play. Now the black and the white wire that you're gonna have left over after plugging up the charging coils is gonna run to your battery. So uh, you may need to extend those depending on where your battery's at, but white is hot and then black is ground. So that's all you need to do. And then you have 18 amps of charging over that really puny one and a half amp that Harbor Freight puts on their stock. So massive shout out to Vegas Scarps for sending out this kit uh, to do this install. Make sure to check out the links in the video's description to find this kit as well as their new V-Twin charging system kits and a lot of other parts from Vegas Scarps. So thank you guys so much for watching. We love you and God bless.